Welcome to another tech video. Today I'm going to be having a look at a another product from Fideco. This one is a little bit special. Um, so this is the um, device we're going to be looking at today. It's the model YPZ220C. Um, it's a standard docking station, so it's a dual drive docking station. But what makes this one clever is it does um, offline cloning, which is going to be really handy for us. So let's have a look at it. Okay, so before we get started, the I wanted to run through what we're going to be doing and what you can do. So what we've got here is a three and a half inch, 500 gig drive. This has got Windows operating system on it. Um, this one here is a two and a half inch, 500 gig hard disk. However, um, we don't have the um, necessary 500 gig SSD drive. So we've got a four, we've got 480 gig SSD drives, but what we want to be doing is we want to do a like for like clone. So um, if you've got a 500 gig drive or a one terabyte drive and you want to clone it onto a two and a half inch drive, then you want to make sure that you've got the same disk sizes so you can do an offline clone. So in our instance, what we would need to do is to have like a 500 gig SSD drive. So um, something like a crucial MX500 uh, 500 gig would be suitable or if this was a one terabyte drive then we would be using a crucial um, MX500 one terabyte two and a half inch drive in here so that is the only caveat to this the drives have got to be the same size um, let's have a look inside or let's have a look around at the box so Great little box, gives you all the information that you need on there, tells you sort of how to set things up. Um, let's have a look at the product itself. So inside the box we get really good, uh, nice little instruction manual, shows you how to connect things, the use cases that you can do. So you can just attach this to your PC. And then inside here we've got the unit itself. This is... Uh, very very light it's plastic um, on the front we've got our button and then on the down at the bottom here we've got various drives so we've got one two three four lights on the on the drives here with a little band on each of the drives I'm um, not sure what that is I guess that's a progress indicator and then inside we've got a flap for three and a half inch and then your slot your two and a half inch drive in there and then we've got our two SATA connections back there on the back we've got our 12 volt DC power input we've got our type C connector so this connects with uh, USB um, 3.2 gem 1 so that's 5 gigabit a second throughput rate and then we've got our on off switch so functionality wise um, the use case is you can you can attach one or two drives directly to your system using the uh, included type C cable and that will show you the drives inside Windows and then you can do whatever you want to do with those use them as additional storage or whatever um, inside here we've got our power brick so this is a 36 watt power adapter driving the two drives and then inside as well we've got a USB type C to type C cable and we've got a USB type C to type A cable so we'll have a look at those later obviously but uh, for now what I want to do is to have a look at the clone option so if we plug the unit in move our power cable to the back get that plugged in Okay, and then we're going to, now it's important to know which drive to plug in where. So in the manual, it says for the offline clone, disk one is the source disk and disk two is the destination disk or the target disk. Make sure that the drives are clean. In other words, make sure there's no bad sectors and it's not going to get interrupted. Um, so if you've got a failing PC um, potentially you're going to have bad sectors on the drive um, so you probably want to make sure that you get those fixed before you try and do an offline clone but if you've got a healthy drive say you've got uh, you've got a system 
um, still running on an old hard disk that seems to be okay and you want to speed things up then you would get yourself a two and a half inch um, SATA SSD and you can clone onto that so let's have a look okay so let's switch the unit on and we get a red power light appearing on the front and then we're going to insert drive one which is our three and a half inch drive so we're going to insert that into that side we can hear that spin up and we've got a light down in the bottom corner here which is turned blue And then we're going to insert our second drive, which is our two and a half inch drive. Like that. And we can hear that spinning up as well. And on the front here, we should see both lights are now in blue with a single red light on the top there. Now to enter the offline cloning mode, it says we need to press this button for three seconds. And the first white light will flash here as it clones drive to drive and then once it completes all these lights on the bottom will be will be lit but let's go ahead and press that for three seconds one two three there we go so the drive is now cloning we can see we've got disk activity on both of them and we can also see that we've got our white flashing light there so we're going to let this run through and then we're going to have a look to see make sure that the drives are in fact cloned so we're going to leave that running Okay, so the clone has now completed, so let's uh, switch off the device. Let's remove our two drives for now. And then I'm going to take the USB cable. So I'm going to do USB Type C to Type A, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to now um, set this up as a standard docking station so we can have a look to make sure that everything's copied on there. So if we plug that into PC and the other end goes into the back of the port, I'm then going to plug my three and a half inch drive in there so we can see what's on there. We'll turn that on. So if we go to uh, uh, this PC, we can see our two drives here. If we go into here, this shows you the contents of the three and a half inch drive. And we've got default, default user zero and public on there. I'm going to shut that off. Then I'm going to remove that drive. You have to be careful on three and a half inch drives because the platters are all still spinning. So ideally you should turn it off, wait for the other one. And then I'm going to take my two and a half inch drive and I'm going to plug that into this slot here, uh, making sure I put it in the right way around. And there we go. And then we're going to wait for the activity light. And then on here, we should be able to go into uh, this PC and we can see our two drives here. So we've got a system reserved and then we go into our users. Uh, default, default user zero and public. So the offline clone has worked with uh, absolute treat. So um, this is a fantastic little unit. I'm really pleased with that. So you can treat it as a docking station or you can do a drive to drive clone on there. Um, so now let's do one final test. So I'm going to plug this other drive back in and I want to see if it's uh, if it shows up as two drives. In Windows so that is spinning up 
and then we can go into Windows, we can go into this PC. Okay, so it's showing up as just the OneDrive, even both are visible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out Drive 1. And let's see if it detects Drive 2, which it does. So at the moment, it looks like it's only showing the OneDrive as a docking station. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a completely different drive. So this is a Seagate 500 gig. I'm going to pop that in and see if it can find both of the drives if they're different. It might be the fact that actually we've cloned that onto there, which it does. OK, interesting. Right, good. Going to this PC. OK, so yeah, interestingly enough, that is why, because uh, it's only showing the one drive when you've got a clone. So with two different drives that haven't been cloned, it will detect them as two separate drives. And then you can use it as a, as a dock as you see fit. So let's go into this one. As you can see here, this is a complete Windows installation on that drive. And then the G drive will be our original three and a half inch drive that we cloned. So what do we think about the unit? So I absolutely love this unit. I think this is going to be fantastic and we're going to be using, we're going to keep this on our workbench and definitely be using this uh, going forward, especially for the um, drive to drive clones. This is a, a really neat little gadget that uh, you don't need to buy any software to be able to clone. You don't need to um, use any software. It all comes built into the unit. So ratings out of 10, I would give this uh, a 9.5. Uh, what could they do better? Um, I mean, this is quite a plasticky uh, device, but it's very, very light. Um, if it was metal, then obviously it'd be a bit heavier, but I don't know. Um, I don't think there's much improvement that they can do on this. Um, yeah, no, no complaints at all about it. So um, as we're gonna be using this in our or on our environment going forward, um, we definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, if you like the video, if you can give us a thumbs up as well, that'd be fantastic. Apart from that, just wanna say thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.